How are you? Um, it's been a while since I did my last video. Um, so I am back with a haul. Um, this is just, um, it's a combination of the haul. Excuse me. <coughs> I'm still a little sick. Um, it's a combination of some of the stuff that I got, my mom got me in Hong Kong, and a few items that I picked up um, recently. Um, I know that everybody got a um, $15 or $20 gift certificate from um, Sephora, so that's where I hauled. Anyway, um, so let me show you the stuff that I got first, and then I'll show you some of the stuff that she got, my mom got me when she was in Hong Kong. Anyway, so the first thing that I got, what, which I was really excited about, is the Makeup Forever Rock Forever um, palette. And in it are these colors. Um, this is, I don't know if you can see because the lighting in here is kind of retarded, but this is a, a silver. Um, this is a white, kind of a, like a highlight. This is a gold. It's more gold than a peach. I know it looks peachy here, but it's gold. And then a shimmery black. Um, this palette is, the reason why I got it is just because these are the colors that I, I tend to use when I go out. Um, could I have passed up on it? Yeah, probably, but um, I really like the, the um, quality of Makeup Forever shadows, which is why I figured, hey, you know, like four of them in one pan and, you know, you can't really go wrong. I really like the silver with the black when it's blended for a smoky eye, so anyway. So that's that, the first thing. The second thing I got is the Tarina Tarantino, um, oh, sorry, uh, primer. This is the Pearl Glow Primer. Um, I, I've heard a lot of gurus talk about this, and I was skeptical at first because I'm not really into this brand. Um, I find that it's kind of just, I don't know, it's just, it's not really a makeup brand. It's not really a cosmetics thing. It's she's more into jewelry and fashion. So when she when when she came out with her own makeup line, I was kind of skeptical. Um, but anyway, I tried this on at the store and I realized how much of a pearly glow it actually gives you. So it actually sticks to its like it actually fits its name and it actually does what it says it does. So I'm excited. I've been really excited using this. Um, I've only used it a couple times. Um, have I noticed a difference? Um, not quite yet. Because um, I'm usually used to my benefit, benefit um, that gal um, primer. So, but I'm going to give this a go. This is a little bit pricier. It is, I think it's $42 Canadian. So, without that um, $20 to use from Sephora, I probably wouldn't have gotten it. I don't know. It just seems too much for a primer, but... Anyways, I'll let you guys know if I like it or not. Next is this lip gloss by NARS. Oh, I still can't get... Um, it's called Downtown. Now let me swatch it for you. This is actually a really, really, really pretty purple. It's really dark when you see it. Um, but it goes on. It can go on sheer. You can layer layer with another gloss or what I usually do is I use Myth underneath by MAC underneath and then pop this on top. Um, like I said, it can go on sheer or you can build the color. So this is really awesome for um, NARS. This is part of their holiday collection. So in case you're wondering. Next, I went to Walmart the other day and I got, and finally in Canada, we have hard candy. So um, I was curious. So I got this um, it's a shocking, shockingly glossy lip pencil, and this is in Cupcake. Let me just show you. Right there. Can you see? It's really, really glossy. It doesn't actually look like this when you put it on. Um, it is quite sheer. Um, like it's really like a gloss. So, this is actually kind of fun. I remember when Hard Candy used to be, a, like, in the boutiques and the department store department stores I used to go crazy over it especially their nail polish but anyway that's why I'm still kind of looking for it now even though it's at Walmart anyways next I got this um this uh uh lipstick of theirs I don't know the name because it doesn't oh wait here it is fire alarm 
and it's this it's a really cute very pretty nude actually for um what it what it is packaging is kind of retarded but this is the nude this it's 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 kind of like um myth but it's a little bit more um glossy than myth so packaging is kind of cheap but anyway whatever it's it's not bad i kind of i really like it for what it is probably better than that revlon one anyway okay so part of the stuff that my mom got me she got me a whole bunch of crap but not crap but like a whole bunch of stuff and one of the things she got me is by ipsa it's their um it's their powder foundation so kind of like their version of studio fix so this is what it looks like um the bad thing about ipsa for those of you in asia or can get your hands on it is their stuff comes separate so you got to buy the sponge separately from the compact and then you got to buy the compact separate from the refill so anyway everything is money for them um but quality wise this is really awesome um i'm using i'm trying to finish up my studio fix so then before i move on to this but i've used this several times and i really like it next is my mom got me um one of these uh refills for the pure control powder this I mentioned in one of my videos my favorites video um, I use it to just kind of like um, like uh, touch up so and that's really awesome then she got me liners she got me all kinds of liners she got me this one and she doesn't know what she's getting she just got it because I guess the girls at the counter recommended her um, this is I think by a Avon say or something um anyway it's a liquid liner it's a felt tip next is the um Koji one day long lasting this brand right here their eyelash curler is perfect for Asian eyes specifically because of how it curves it's 100% perfect for Asian eyes because sometimes if you use a Shu Mara one um, the curve is a little too curvy for our Asian eyes so but this that Koji brand makes awesome eyelash curlers um, next is this I don't know what name it is um, at the back it says Naris up wink up maxi grade eyeliner um, Again, it's a felt tip. Um, my mom knows I know the felt tip stuff. So you, me, if you see any of these and you want to try them or explain them, feel free. Um, but anyway, so um, yeah, these are the things that she got me because I know she she wanted uh, she, I wanted eyeliners. But anyways, okay, so that's it for the haul. Um, I'm going to do a birthday gift haul of mine um, pretty soon. So stay tuned for that. Um, if you have any questions on these products that I've mentioned, please let me know. Um, and I'll see you in my next video. Okay, bye.